Hey and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the Dragon Torch Max 10 Android tablet. Um, a tablet in a similar vein to the recently reviewed Vancure um, Matrix Pad S10. And we're going to start with the unboxing as usual. So we've got the tablet itself, locally, in the box. Um, and then let's have a look what else we've got in here. We've got a leaflet in which tells us about activating our two-year warranty. So it's nice that we are getting a two-year warranty, not a one-year one, at least in Europe. A pretty thick user manual, um, which comes in, I believe, six languages, five or six languages. Let's have a look. If it does tell us one, two, yep. So we've got six languages. And then we've got the cable, which is a Type-C cable, which is brilliant in my opinion, because nowadays when you try and buy an Android tablet in 2020, it's a bit of a um, hit and miss. Some of them come with a micro USB, but luckily this time we've got a Type-C. So if you've got a Type-C charger at home, um, you can use that with the tab itself. And then we've got the power brick, which looks quite similar to a Samsung power bricks, um, but that's that. Again, it's not a given um, nowadays in the box, so it's nice that's it in the box. So as you can see, the bezels are on the thicker side, but the actual tablet is pretty lightweight, weighted in at 550 grams, which is pretty standard for tablets nowadays. Okay, so that's the back of the tablet itself. We've got the memory card slot in the top left corner. Um, if it would be a 4G model, it would have a SIM card slot next to it, but this is a Wi-Fi only model. Um, Type-C connector on the very top. So if you want to connect, let's say, a mouse or an external hard drive or anything like that, you can do that. And then you've got the power button on the side, the volume up, volume down. And then there is a pinhole for reset if the tablet freezes. And then we've got the bottom firing speakers as well. Two speakers on the very bottom of the tablet. And let's crack on with the tablet itself. So let's have a look. System, what are we running on? We are running on Android 9 with a security update from November 2019. Considering this review is conducted in July 2020, it's a bit behind um, when it comes to security updates, but at least it's got an Android 9, um, even though the 10 is out now. So that was digital well-being and parental controls. Then in terms of security and location, we can use a pin pattern or password um, to lock the device itself. Uh, we can add a um, lock screen message as well. Then when it comes to storage, this is 32 gig model with three gigabytes of RAM. So there is also a two gig model, 16 gig model with two gigabytes of RAM. Um, weirdly enough, the two gig model runs on Android 8.1. Okay, audio profiles, nothing special. Navigation bar, um, if you'd like to, you can hide it, or if you want to, you can rearrange, the, rearrange it as usual. Um, with the back or recent buttons in different places. Then we've got scheduled power on and off, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then we've got a display. So the display itself, we've got a full HD display with a 1080p resolution. We can set an eye comfort mode, uh, which puts a bit less strain on our eyes, as you can see, and it makes it easier to use in the evening in a challenging um, lightning conditions. Um, then we've got the colors and contrast. So if you find that the colors are a bit dull or oversaturated, you can adjust that using the increased uh, contrast button or uh, standard. When you choose increased contrast or standard, you can't use the slider. It only works in the automatic contrast mode. Okay, and then moving on, obviously, if you'd like to, you can enlarge the text on the device. Um, Pretty decent option for senior members of the family, if you're thinking about the tablet, um, for someone um, senior in your family or if you're senior yourself watching this video. Um, we've got a screensaver as well. We've got an ambient display, but it only lights up if you receive a new notification. Let's say it's an email or let's a messenger. 
a Facebook Messenger update, for example, the screen will, will lit up um, to let you know. Then in terms of battery, we've got a 5000 mAh battery. In terms of connections, some reviews claims there is no Bluetooth. As you've seen, there is a Bluetooth. And in terms of network and internet, this is Wi-Fi only model. Um, so there is no um, mobile data option. In terms of the tablet itself and customization, what you can change, you can press and hold add widgets. You can press and hold and change uh, a bit more home settings. So you've got dynamic icons with a calendar and clock, which if you go back, it shows you the current date and time. Then you can change the home screen style from dual layer. So this is dual layer where it's got like an app drawer on the bottom, or you can do single layer, which is very similar to an iPad experience where there is no app drawer on the bottom. Everything is on the main screen. You just scroll left or right. Um, so that's that. I personally prefer the dual layer or the Android um, drawer, as other people prefer to call it. And then we've got a Google now, which we can turn off as well, which basically tailors all the news to your liking. But if you'd like to, you can switch that off. In terms of pre-installed apps, we've got a calculator, which is brilliant because Apple, since they released iPads 10 years ago, still can't pre-install a proper a calculator on their iPads. You do have a built-in FM radio, however, it only works if you plug in the headphones, uh, which double up as an antenna. And as you can see, these are the live tiles for um, widgets for the clock and the calendar. Then what else we've got in here? We've got a screen capture, which allows us to capture the screen and sound recorder. Now, because it's an Android tablet, it also allows you to plug in or wirelessly connect a Bluetooth mouse, or if it's a wired and you've got an adapter from USB type C to a, a proper full USB A, you can then um, connect it via wire. As you can see, I'm using Word, Microsoft Word, which works pretty decent. Um, just going to do some custom designing. In here, we're going to design a leaflet. And as proper designers, we're going to use Comic Sans. Uh, because this is what true designers getting paid 5k uh, per job use. So yeah, works pretty well, works with Excel as well, works with PowerPoint. Considering the price of the device, it's pretty decent and that you can connect pretty much any Bluetooth keyboard or mouse. The mouse itself also works in games. Um, now I'm using Fruit Ninja, but if you want to play um, something a bit more demanding, not too demanding though, it works really well as well. Um, so as you can see, let's have some fun. I did, um, I did um, notice that using the actual mouse is more precise than a finger, especially in Fruit Ninja, um, which is always nice because now I can actually go past the first level. And then after the Fruit Ninja, we're going to finally listen to those speakers because I'm actually interested in the quality um, of, of these. You can obviously install Netflix as well if you'd like to, YouTube, YouTube Kids. It's a full-blown Android. It's not Android Go or anything like that. Um, so you can use Netflix. The Netflix plays in 720p tops. It doesn't play in the native 1080 Full HD um, resolution for now. Okay, so let's listen to these speakers.
pretty decent quality in my opinion. I did have to turn them down a bit because they were really loud. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon guys. Bye!